In the last several videos, we've talked about functions, if statements, and loops. And in this video, we're going to combine some of those concepts. So we are going to create a function that creates an if statement. And so I've created a function called batting, and we're going to pass in two types of parameters. We're going to pass in a player, which will be the actual name of the player, so that will be a string. And we're going to pass in an integer, and that will be the distance that the person hit the ball. And then we're going to create an if statement that will test the distance. And remember, it has to be true or false. So if it's less than or equal to 350 feet, we will print out the line that, that the player hit the ball. If it's longer than 350 feet, nothing will happen according to this code. So let's go ahead and call our function. And we're going to pass in the string Steve to our player parameter. And we're going to pass in the number 349 to our distance parameter. And accordingly, this condition will test out true because 349, of course, is less than 350. And we will write this line out to the browser. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go to our web page and run this and we get the expected result. Now, what if he hits it longer than 350 feet? Well, we want to be able to handle a home run. And so let's create an else statement to handle that scenario. And so we'll just copy and paste that right in here. And so now if Steve hits the ball greater than 350 feet, it'll be a home run. So let's put in 351 feet. He just barely cleared the fences. And let's save this. We'll run it and we get the expected home run. Now you might be asking, well, what if Steve hit the ball zero feet? That would mean he struck out. We need to have a condition for that. And you will remember that if we want multiple conditions past our if statement, we need to use the else if statement. So let me copy and paste that in here. And now we can handle a strikeout scenario. And so if it's less than or equal to zero, Steve will have struck out. And let's change this to zero. And let's save this, and we'll go over here and run this. And we did not get the expected result, so let's go see what happened. Well, what happened here was that the zero that was passed in hit this first condition, and of course zero is less than 350. That's a true statement, so of course this first line would be executed. So how do we handle zero in this first condition? And the answer to that is we need to use an AND logical operator. And so we'll put that in our first if statement. And here it is. This is the AND logical operator. And now we've got two conditions in here. And we're going to be able to handle this zero now because the distance has to be greater than zero for this entire condition to be true. And what this AND means is that both the first condition and the second condition have to be true in order for this statement to be executed. If one of these is false, then all bets are off and it'll skip to the else if statement. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. This first one will test out true, but when it hits the second condition, this will be false, and therefore it'll exit out of this if statement and go to the else if statement. So let's save this. Let's go ahead and run this. And now we get the expected result. Steve struck out. So that's going to do it for this video.